kid, you just made the biggest mistake of your life. We gotta get out of here. Let's get our stuff together. Todd? He's not here. He never came back from Anna's house. Where is he? We don't know. We've been waiting for you. We've gotta go How find him. How did that happen? We told him to go to your house and come right back. Well, I feel awful. I thought he understood. They were having a meeting, Dad. She couldn't open the door. What kind of meeting? The resistance. All right, first things first. Does anybody have any idea where Todd is? They've gone. The secret police. Collins Goons have my son? He took my robot the first week after the election. All the little boys disappeared. Nobody knows where they go. They bust him. Right from the school, I saw him. All right, first we're going to find Todd. And then we're going to get out of this country. Come with us, Adam. We'll stick together. Oh, I can't leave my husband. His leg's infected, and only Collins people can use the hospitals. There's a hypodermic and penicillin in here. You go home. We'll pick you up as soon as we find Todd. Come on. What's with the computer? It's bootleg. Anna says the internet's the only way to find out what's going on. Collins hasn't closed down the net? He was the first thing he shut down, along with the phones. If you get... If you've got a wireless modem, there are still some bandit servers you can log on to. What was she showing you? Reports on rebel positions. They're fighting back? They're actually shooting back? Around some of the universities. Yeah, Collins has secret police commando units encircling both Cambridge and Berkeley. There's that many rebels? Anna said Chapel Hill is completely in rebel hands. Come on. Think Todd's in the building? I saw him bring kids out of there a few minutes ago. Then we're not just going to hand him over. All right, well, we'll lie. We'll say that, that Todd knows where some hot computers are stashed. We'll make him seem valuable until we can snatch him. What do they want with little boys? It's so creepy. Well, at least we'll figure that out. Dad, you're not making any sense. How are we going to do that? We'll wing it. If I get inside, you guys create some kind of distraction. And when I find Todd, we'll make a run for the airport. Be bribe people. All right, do anything you have to. You! What are you doing back there? You got some ID? How you doing? I'm looking for my son. 12-year-old, good-looking, athletic kid. You don't get them back, pal. You can't just take them. Hey, I'm just doing my job here. Just following orders. Damn straight. Well, where do you take them? Hang on, hang on. Where do you take them? We take them to the training camps. What kind of training camps? Military. Somebody's got to fight those crazy broads. Fight who? Look, half the rebels are women. They fight like hell. Collins uses little boys as soldiers? Hey, it works. Women don't kill kids. Hey, hey, you can't go in there. Come over here! 
They can't make us shut up, not if we stand together. Honey, get off the car. They had this flag they used during the revolution. It said live free or die. Get down from there. Hey. Leave her alone. That still sounds pretty good to me. If I can't speak out, I'll pass on this government. I'll pass on President Collins. Well, but I can see the man's an idiot. Get it on the car. I want to get back and we're going to be pulling some people in. I am not going to hide in my house. I'm not going to give up my job. I'm going to fight back and so should you. Collins can't tell me what to do. I'm proud to be an American woman. This isn't the America I know. The America I know is free. He's in there. I couldn't get him. Get free or die. Excuse me. Excuse me. My wife, she's not feeling well. Can we have some water? Why don't you take care of the women and the kids before you stuff your faces, pigs? Good man. Tell your wife to take as much as she needs. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. How long have you been in here? Nine months. Have you seen a judge? <laughs> They're not in a hurry for that. Dad says they can't hold you for more than 72 hours without arraigning you. They can do anything they want to do. But they can't hold you indefinitely. I mean, innocent until proven guilty. Guilty if they don't like the color of your face. That's the Collins philosophy. He can do that? He can do anything he want to do. Miranda, habeas corpus, the right to counsel. He's thrown it all out. I've heard there's still some jewelry trials, you know, just for show. <laughs> what country were you in? New Guinea. And you came back? We didn't know. We kept hearing that America was as free as ever. People over there didn't think that was a lie? Not where we were in the jungle. We didn't get newspapers. This one time I saw a headline that said, President Collins stands for what's right with America. <laughs> What a crock. Why didn't other Americans tell us? Because travelers have relatives back home. You see, you criticize the government and they'll retaliate against your family. I know. Collins had my fiance deported. Why? Because I gave an illegal speech. What'd you say? I read the Bill of Rights. Holding cell three to interrogation. Holding cell three to interrogation. If we get out, I'm going to join the rebels. We'll come back for you. You come back and we'll walk out of here with 200 people ready to die fighting goblins. Stand. We know our rights. We're American citizens. We're not going to say anything until we talk to a lawyer. Your rights? We don't want to make trouble. We just... It's got to be a mistake. My, my husband's just saying, let's just get a lawyer in here so he can make an arrangement that's good for you and good for us. Which one of you is Margaret? I am. Interesting speech you made. Margie. I said what was on my mind. That's not a crime, is it? When you criticize the people's elective representatives, yes, young lady.